I'm literally sick and tired of playing The Sims 4 in the modern era. I wish I could just whoop my sim into the past. Time travel is relatively simple. You just head on over to the gallery, click on hashtag, and type in FGG time. Then you get a whole bunch of old timey builds and we're gonna be looking at some of these today. First build we're gonna be looking at is King Gamagallus' Bath by Red Bamboo. An Arab descent Roman emperor named Emperor Fake Gamagallus, definitely not me, was enthroned as the first ever Arab Roman emperor to establish peace between Middle East and Europe at that time. But as an emperor that he was, he was forced into an arrangement marriage to have that space for himself and his alleged secret male lover Geraltus Rivius he decided to build this giant bathing facility far away from the main castle will true love win this feels like fan mail this feels like somebody just served me like a fanfic on a platter but it's like a fanfic with like a lot more effort so I don't know how I feel about this here we are at the Roman Arab baths that have been built for the secret affair that the Emperor had with Geraltus of Rivius um this is absolutely gorgeous like what? Ignore this random woman that just decided to show up. I don't know her. I don't claim her. But it's absolutely insane what some people can do without, like, there is no expansion pack for ancient Greece. Like, somebody just came over and just, just made this. You just pulled this out of your ass and was like, here you go. I'm genuinely so hyped to go in. So we go into the entrance here and we have this lovely little fountain set up with these fishes being um, very moist around these men. Very interesting choice. We've got some statues and stuff. This is absolutely gorgeous. We've even got this like big chandelier thing going on. I, I don't know which way I want to go. I'm probably gonna go down this way. I don't actually think it matters, but this is so beautiful. This is the giant bath for uh, I assume bathing and nothing else. Oh my god, it's like a giant like gorgeous courtyard. Oh my god. I love the like Greek Roman pillar thingies whatever. I don't know. It's classical era stuff and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. We've got these lovely flowers with these guys just sitting in contemplating plating if you really think about it it looks like he's taking the poo in the flowers and honestly that's just how you fertilized back in the day and you know what this place seems like it's all about fertility we've got these like doors here i don't know if these are actual doors or if these are like fake doors oh these are screens what you can like see through this i guess this is like a uh what do you call them a curtain yes that's what they're called and we've got like this little like showering area because they definitely had those back in the day but i get the point this is like oh this is like the locker room it's giving me locker room vibes and come out here and we've got this lovely little like pool sauna thing oh my god it looks he's um i think i think i oh 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 i don't know if i want to go in there if we look over here we've got like this lovely little tea area this is absolutely beautiful like what did just the detail i don't even know what i'm looking at and i love it i love all the pottery because that was like definitely a thing we've got some tea this is looking very middle eastern so you know that i was definitely here i mean my ancestors were definitely here we've got some music so we can have some live entertainment and then we've got like this whole thing i don't know what's behind here i immediately know what's behind here oh this is actually really gorgeous like aside from the implications this is like so fucking pretty dude i would sleep so well in here and nothing else okay over here now we go past this screen which takes us to another screen which takes us to another little locker area oh no i was actually here i actually backtracked we've got a pooper area oh dude Dude, this is actually so creative and so cool. They're like, you know, ancient poopers. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go over on this side of the building now. There's like another little hot spot here. Okay, so this is like the living area, living room area thing. We've got a lovely little fireplace. We got some hobbies. You know, we come here, we have a good time. We do some arts and crafts together. And then this whole setup, which, dude, this looks so fucking sick. Using the get-together ruins as tables is so fucking smart. And the jaw, oh, dude, this is so cool. We've got a lovely little eating area with some sinks and some you know washing up and i guess those are like dishes i think you know those things those like fancy things you know what i mean we've got another screen here but i think this just takes us outside oh it's not even we're not even meant to be out here really uh we've got a sitting area here that's where i look upon uh the many men that swim here it wasn't me though it wasn't me anyway i'm going back inside i wasn't done we go past this divider it shows the rest of the house bath place thing we've got these two big doors here the, oh my is this like a study or something there okay we're doing way more than just bathing in here i'm gonna be honest oh my god this is gorgeous like this is actually good i don't even know 
what this is and I don't even care anymore. Like this is so creative. We've got these two little doors here next to this organ and it's just little poopers. Oh yeah, nobody could see me poo in here. No way. No way, Jose. Oh, there's like a little swing and like wedding area out here too. Interesting. Okay, I'll go back inside. I wanted to see what's through here because I see this whole stained glass window business and oh my God, dude, I am moving in here. Like I don't even care. This is one of the most gorgeous builds I've ever seen in my life. And it's the first one as well. We're gonna zoom all the way to this side now. This place is massive and never ending. This is such a dope bedroom, actually. This is so nice. And even there's even a little hidey place for the toilet. I feel like there's a lot of like secret toilet areas. And I don't mean for the pooper. I mean, if you're a peep and Tom, there are so many places where you can observe someone just pooping and they wouldn't even know. Okay, I'm going through this door now. Uh, and this leads to another sitting area. Dude, I don't even know where I am. Oh, hello, mailbox. Uh, these doors, I don't know where they go to. Oh, these are just like bedrooms so these are like guest bedroom thingies okay so this is definitely like a second house nice little sitting area over here and this leads back outside so we're on the other side now no we're not i don't know where i am but i know i never want to leave go around this way oh we are just on the other side of the building and then this door this is kind of ominous actually i don't like this i don't know what's here oh we're back in this poker room okay now that was just the bottom floor if we go through here and we go up these stairs we actually get into oh my god the camera uh, we actually get into the main building, but of course we have to go see this lovely little bubble blower regile thing going on and I absolutely love it. We got some don't wake the llamas going on as well. Dude, this is so pretty! I'm moving my sims in here. I don't even care anymore. Uh, we've got like this little study area. Dude, I'm gonna go in the front door. I don't know why I'm like fucking around here. And oh my god. Oh, this is so pretty! What is this? This is such a romantic little place. Like, honestly. We're gonna go up the stairs again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. God. This is beautiful. What the? Why is his face like that? Dude, I'm actually speechless. This is one of the most impressive builds I've ever seen. Like, straight up. And look at that view of Dussel Valley. <laughs> we go through here. Uh, we've got some violins and guitars. And we've got some chess areas as well. And we've got, like, a little at-home gym. Oh, my God. Okay, and then we're gonna zoom over to the other side. Oh, a spa. Dude, look at that view. Oh, my God. Oh, my, I love this. This is my favorite build. It, it's straight well, color me fucking impressed. This was so cool. Like, aside from the meme, this is, oh my god, this is actually, like, absolutely, just, I, wow. 10 out of 10. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Laugar, a Viking village by Dana the Diva. Welcome to Laugar, a Viking village in a valley. There is a beautiful river, a cozy longhouse for your Viking needs, and a suspicious blacksmith pair that might be getting a little too hot in there. What does that mean? You guys end up saying things and I don't understand, and it could mean, like, six different things, and each one is worse than the other one. But hey, Vikings sound pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are in ancient Norway or Sweden. We're just in Scandinavia. Apparently ignore um the, the colonial houses and the lighthouses. It's it's not real. It's fake. Fake news. Here we have Laugar, the Viking village. And let me just say, this longhouse looks dope as fuck. I absolutely love the aesthetic of longhouses. I think they're so, they're just so architecturally pleasing. We've got some like little houses over here. We've got like a large like farm plot area, which is really cool. And then we have like the main hub where everybody's just sort of like being chilling all over the place. And we have this magical fountain. I really like that. And this pond. I absolutely love the pond tool. I don't use it half as much as I'd like to. And we've got these buckets. Oh, it's just like a bunch of really nice details. We've even got like the old laundry sort of thing. So they will be washing their clothes here. And we got the Solani fish rack going on. Those are some spiky fucking fish. But oh my god, it's just the little details that really make everything look so fucking nice. I think I want to go in the longhouse first and then we're gonna go in there because I suspect that that's the whole like blacksmith thing going on. Oh, we have in the old ancient Viking mailbox. These are his ancestors. This is where he came from uh, and I'm going in now and this is already like so fucking cool. I wish that the ruse weren't like glitching out but this is so cool. Like if I just crop it right there, like dude, this looks amazing. The lighting is amazing. The detail is amazing. We've got a really good use of the Batu like banner flag thingies going on. We've got some pillows and blankets and we've got all the tankards for everybody just having their great feasts and this thing the giant loom thing oh my god you guys are so good at like adding little details this is amazing we've got the big fire in the middle oh okay it kind of glitched out the big fire in the middle this is absolutely insane and then i guess we have some like little sleeping areas here and we've got like some more tables is like the grand table and over here i assume are like the livestock and stuff yeah so this is where you can have your chickens and stuff oh my god this is so cool and it's usable this is this this is usable
sensible and self-sustaining. I love this. I assume this just leads us back out because usually longhouses, yeah, they don't really have like too much going on. But what apparently does have a lot going on is this little house over here, which I assume is the blacksmith's house. Uh, it's like they said, they said some things and I don't know what it means, but we're going in anyway and we're going to discover the secrets and the truth here. Oh yeah. Okay. We've got some, some, some love hearts going on here. We've got a fire standard. Pretty cool. We've got a big tankard over there. Um, I don't know what way these are here very interesting and we've got a closet which is fine i think um i don't i don't know what you're implying i don't know what any of this means i can check this closet again as well i mean i hope they're having a good time and i hope they're happy you know who is happy with this me. The next build we're gonna be looking at is 1785, Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop by Lauren Gumdrops. The year is 1785 and the location is London, England. The population is growing and the prices are rising. Uranus has just been discovered, but times are hard. However, at 186 Fleet Street, you will taste the best pies in London. Whilst you're at Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop, why not head next door for a trim? I'm sure Mr. Dodd will fit you in. On a different note, Sims keep going missing, but the police just can't work out how or why. I think I know why. Um, do you eat the pies though. I heard they're really, really good, honestly. I've never had one of their pies, but I worked there and I saw how they made the pies and trust me, you're not gonna get pies like this anywhere else. I've never actually seen Sweeney Todd. <laughs> Here we are at Mrs. Lovett's pie shop where she swears you'll love it. <laughs> I have not seen the movie Sweeney Todd. I know the story and I've played Ravenous Devil, so I definitely get the gist of it. So I don't know if this is going to be accurate to the film. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if it is, but this is already like beautiful. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking on the wrong side. This is actually beautiful. <laughs> this is where I assume Mrs. Lovett's pie shop. And then over here, I assume it's going to be the, the barber shop or the tailor or something. I don't know. You're getting some fucking cold cuts here. I'll tell you that. Oh, we're going to go into the pie shop first this is what we're here for and i'm so excited here we are this is the cutest little spot ever actually oh my god i i you know what you know what i'm coming to work here i'm coming to eat here the dude look at the pies they look so good this is so cute this is so cluttered and obviously this is like edwardian times say almost 1800 so yeah and i assume that's them right there oh my god that's so cute actually they have all the pictures and things and the story and some bald guy oh this is fantastic oh i love the like sort of like grimy stuff going on here as well. Oh, it leads to like a whole other like shtick. Okay, we got some paintings over here as well. Very, very cool. Uh, this is the living room. This is actually so pretty and so cluttered and really good detail. Why is it? Why is that say downstairs? Where is that leading to? That's where they're headed when they die. I'll tell you that much. We've got like all these postcards and things. This is so lived in and so beautiful. I absolutely adore this. There's so many places to go. Uh, we've got these doors. I'm gonna check these out first and then we'll go further in over there. So here we have the bathroom. Very nice. Very, um... Why does it keep saying down? I don't see anything down here. It's freaking me out, man. Oh, we're gonna go in this room now. Uh, what the, what is this? Okay, I get it. I get it downstairs, chill. Oh, oh, you know, I'm not, I, this is, this seems like a towards the end of the build uh, room. So we're just gonna, we're gonna head back. There was like a door over here I wanna go see. And it's the kitchen. Oh, it's like the family dining room area. This is very, very cute. We got some more pictures up here. Oh, she's so happy. Is that her dad? That's probably her dad. We got some garlic over there. They're very cool. Keep the vampires out. And this is like a kid's room. Okay, it's very nice to know that they're a loving family and they have a child. Yeah, that's super cool. Uh, I didn't go through this door. I assume this is a bathroom. It's not. It's another living room. Bro, how many do you need? Or is this a bedroom? Oh, this is the bedroom that also has a living space area. Very cool. Okay, so lots of pictures. They really like taking pictures together. She really likes that bald guy. Very nice. Very nice. We're gonna head upstairs next. This is how you know it's a British house as well because it's so fucking cramped in there for like no goddamn reason. Okay, so we have just some like decor here. We've got this door, which leads into a, a grimy ass bedroom. Okay, interesting. I don't know like what the purpose of this is and that's covered up for some reason. Uh, oh, okay, I don't <laughs> I don't like the implications here and it's kind of freaking me out. So I'm just gonna leave and pretend I didn't see it. And what about over here? We've got another little living area thing going on, more doors. Okay, what are we in Lord of the Rings? And we have, the oh, this is like an attic. Okay, this is cool. 
cool. Is that a wheelchair? That is dope as fuck. We've got this little like area here. That's super cool. I love these like skybox things. They're so nice. Another down. Okay, I get it. I get it. I don't think there's anything else to see here other than like a lovely little balcony. And we've also got this whole like kitchen situation. But honestly, like we're only here for one thing and I need to find out how to get to it. But this is just like the pie shop. I'm thinking like, what does the tailors look like? So if I just kind of scooch out real quick, this is the tailor or I assume it's the tailor. Oh, this is the police station. You set up this business right next to a fucking police station. You fucking idiots. Okay, we're going to go in the police station now. We're going to see how incompetent these motherfuckers are. They even have signs that say go down. What does that mean? Don't understand, but I'm going up these narrow stairs anyway. And we're up here on the landing uh, with the actual police area, registering area. We have another little reception area up here. My fucking game's glitching. We're going to go in here. Oh, interrogation room. Oh, dude, this is a dope ass interrogation room, honestly. This is super fucking cool. I love this. This is a, oh, oh, a prison cell. Okay, dude, we are housing criminals up in this bitch. Okay, interesting. So this is where the pie makers are definitely going to go. And then this is where they take all the confiscated items and also, <gasps> dude, they're on the trail. They're suspecting them. That is so clever, actually, especially with the red pins. Dude, this is such a good, like, well detailed build. Holy shit. This is what I love about builds that take place on also the gambling. This is what I love about builds that take place in different time periods because you really have to sell the illusion so everybody puts in like hella detail. All that's left is to go through this fucking ominous door so that's exactly what we're going to do and it leads into a basement. Who would have guessed? Down we go. It is so fucking dark in here. I can barely see anything. Uh, there's a door here though and if I go through it then yep what did I expect? We have a giant Giant furnace? I guess this is where uh, they uh, burn the meats. They boil them, mash them up, put them in a stew. We've got a lot of uh, tools. We've got a giant sewer. Interesting. I didn't know there was a sewer entrance in here. And a whole bunch of meat. Oh my god. I wonder where they source this meat from. Oh my god. There's so much. Oh. I bo Okay. Wow. It's the re grand reveal that nobody nobody thought of. Nobody would have nobody would have thunk it. Got some chains here. It's like a whole ass dungeon in here. Oh my god we're gonna go here these are the sewers i get oh the water is red with blood that is such a good detail what are the mats for what's all of this for i love there's a whole ass sewer entrance in here this is so well detailed what the fuck dude there's like another one here this one's like actually got a gate and stuff as well oh my god there was like a door i saw oh no that's the door i came in my bad <laughs> honestly this is one of the most impressive builds i've ever seen you guys really pulled it out from your asses this time guys this is so good you you guys absolutely killed it with this one and quite literally the last one we're gonna be looking at today is the world war one bomb house by pelicans pelicans oh <laughs> there's no description i don't even have anything witty to say about this Welcome to the World War I bombed house where the planes are just kind of stuck in midair, but I like to think we just paused on life. And this actually looks really fucking dope. I feel really bad because uh, this is the only house that's been affected in the entire neighborhood. Everybody else is enjoying Valentine's Day. Uh, not, not these guys. No way. First, I just want to say that this is such a clever idea and this is such a good use of the airplane toys. I don't even think they're like toys. They're just these random decorations, but it, this is so cool. Here we have this lovely what I assume is a British house, maybe, maybe house. Oh my god. Here we have this lovely little European house. This is probably set somewhere in France or the UK or something. And everything looks really lovely and beautiful, at least until you uh, show up here and you realize, oh, this place has actually been, this has actually been bombed. I don't know what I expected, but I love the sort of like open foundation at the bottom. That's such a clever idea and all. It's just so crazy to see it just completely like split open. You come around the back and you've got like this gardening area area. They won't need that anymore. I promise you. This is a thing of the past now. And I promise I did not forget to notice this giant bunker in the front, which is going to be the last thing that we look at. But this is so cool. Oh my god. So uh, let's go in the front door. Hello, mailbox. Uh, sorry about your home, buddy. <laughs> you might want to leave as soon as possible. We head inside and it's just, just, this is just so sad. To be honest, it feels a little bit less sad because we can see that how happy the neighbors are. Oh my god, the old TV and everything. This is just so tragic. It's so cool at the same time. We've got the cobwebs. We've got these lovely little cottage living chairs. Oh my god. A cottage living is actually perfect if you want to do like wartime stuff, I feel like. We got these doors. We go in here and here's the bathroom. Oh god. I mean, it's it's seen better days. Going through this door now and this is the lovely bedroom. Oh my god. Something about like old English bedrooms are just so cozy and like a really weird depressing 
one stinky way. We've got the antique camera. Everything here is period accurate, if you ask me. Again, I'm not a historian, so I'm pretty sure there are so many people like, oh, fish didn't exist back in the day. And honestly, get a life. I don't know. Uh, we're going to go upstairs now. I imagine it's probably in a very sorry state. Well, this part of it isn't. This part of it looks just fine. We come in here and we've got another little bathroom. Ooh, toilet plunger. Very nice. Come into this room here. And yeah, this one is kind of a... Uh, had, had a moment. It definitely had a, a, a little bit of a safety hazard, if you ask me. I mean, I'm sure like if you just look this way, everything looks fine. Uh, if I'm just going to shimmy on over here. We've got this door. Of course, uh, this was uh, absolutely fucking decimated. And that was that room. That's the house. I want to go to the bunker now. Now, these guys were thinking two steps ahead, if you ask me, because they have this massive fucking wartime bunker that uh, they didn't even try to hide. If you're trying to look for somebody, they're in there. So we're going to go inside now. And oh, we have a ladder that leads all the way downstairs. Here we have the wartime bunker. And I think this is actually really, really cool. I remember I went to the Churchill bunkers in London and they looked pretty much like this in like a weird way. This is obviously a bit more dingy and less prime minister-y. But this is actually really cool. You've even got the old fridge. You've got some uh, perishables. That will go. That will go. And um, toxic waste. I don't know what you need that for. And an old TV so you can keep up with all of your favorite sitcoms. I got this here, which I assume is just going to be the bathroom. Oh, you don't even have a shower. Dude, wartime actually kind of sucks. Damn, who would have guessed? Well, there you have it. You guys are pretty fucking clever. Thank <laughs> you.